don't hide from the bad guy behind a door. I'm gonna test out if this can stop anything, any bullets. I'll start with a 22, and we'll go from there. Let's say hiding behind a door isn't really a good idea in the first place, but even if you had to or you were on the other side somewhere, how well would it do at stopping anything? First, I'm gonna try a 22, but not just a normal 22. It's a 22 Calibri, which is powderless ammo. I think that might be the only thing this door stops, so let's test it out. All right, 22 Calibri at the door. Okay, I actually thought it was gonna bounce off the first part, but you can see it went in right there. I doubt it came out the other side. It did. <laughs> it actually came out the other side. Oh my gosh. So I know this door's actually hollow, but I was thinking it's pretty hard. Maybe it would have stopped something, but nope. Went right through it. Wow. Definitely don't hunt behind a door. That's the weakest thing I have, and it just blew right through it. Next up, I'll just try a standard 22 out of this rifle here. I'll do it right above the other one. Right, the hole's about the same size. They're both 22 caliber. And again, this one blew right through. You can see it's a little bit cleaner, though, than the first one. For this one, I'm going to stand a little bit farther back because I'm going to be using some 7.5 shot out of a 12 gauge just in case anything bounces back. You can see two holes here from the shotgun. One is from the wad that holds all the BBs together. And the other one is from all the BBs. You can see the individual BBs here, but for the most part, it's very solid. And I was a few yards away. A lot of people think birdshot will just expand immediately. It actually has some good distance. If you're a few yards away, it won't expand much. I mean, that's a fist size group right there from a few yards away at a uh, seven and a half shot, so not bad. The farther you go back, it's gonna expand more, but some people think it would spread a lot more, hence the the long time trope that, you know, shotgun, you don't have to aim. Well, when you're close, you actually don't have a huge gap. But let's see the other side, it clearly went through. Uh, yeah, bigger hole on the exit. And the, actually the wad didn't go through, if you can notice that. The wad is the only thing this door managed to stop today. The wad right there, there's a hole on the back, no hole for the wad. It's a piece of plastic, so this door is only good at stopping plastic. Otherwise, it is not good at stopping anything. Doors will not stop anything. Don't hide behind a door. It's not a good idea in the first place, but if you just have a normal door, maybe a ballistic door, that is rated for stopping bullets. That would obviously be bulletproof to a point. But a door like this, just not a good idea. Well, like and subscribe. This was a short video, but maybe I will get a better door. But this was just to demonstrate if a normal door would stop anything. It can't. So I'll see you next time.